happening to all you amazing people? Today's topic question of the day is, what is your favorite food? So getting right into this, this is the top 10 most outrageous last meal requests from people on death row. Coming into number 10, we have SpaghettiOs. This was a request from 32 year old Thomas J. Grasso. He was taken to Oklahoma State Penitentiary for murdering two people back in 1995. Thomas spent his last days confined to 23 hours a day in a 14 by 18 foot cell. He was allowed out for one hour and in that one hour he was allowed to exercise. In his final day he was executed by lethal injections. But before that he was given one last meal and he wanted room temperature bowl of SpaghettiOs. Lots of tail, steak, apple pie, and vanilla ice cream comes in to number nine. This was a request in 2010 by Ronnie Lee Gardner. He was placed on death row for robbery, burglary, and two counts of murder. He was put to death by a firing squad. His last meal request was essentially a surf and turf dinner with dessert. And also, while eating the food, he also requested if he could watch Lord of the Rings. I tried to confirm if they allowed him to do that, but I just couldn't find it. Okay, so moving in to number... We have two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream and this is given to 33 year old Timothy McVie and he was from Indiana and I guess he was just really craving ice cream before he was put to rest. Timothy was an American terrorist who detonated a truck bomb in front of a federal building in Oklahoma City that took place back in 1995. This killed 168 people injuring another 600. According to the United States government it was the deadliest act of terrorism within the United States prior to September 11 attack and remains the most significant act of domestic terrorism in the United States state's history. Okay, so two fried chicken steaks, two fried chicken breasts, three pork chops, two burgers, four slices of bread, a half pound of fried potatoes, half a pound of onion rings, chocolate chip cake, and two pitchers of milk made its way to this list at number seven. That is a whole lot of food, and is there a limit on how much you can request? Because this guy is boss. The buffet amount of food was requested by inmate Bobby Wayne Woods. He was a convicted American murderer, kidnapper, and rapist. He was executed by the state of Texas for the murder of 11-year-old Sarah Patterson, and this is back in 1997. All right, in at number six, we have 48-year-old German Peter Curtin. His last meal request was a wiener schnitzel, fried potatoes, and a white wine. Wait, 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 this is the last meal request. Are you allowed to get liquor? Because I would get all liquored up. I would just get so drunk. Peter committed a series of murders and sexual assaults back in 1929. In total, he's murdered about nine people, but that number is unknown. And he also attempted to murder another 20. A large bag of assorted Jolly Ranchers eats its way to number five. Gerald Mitchell requested this for his last meal. He was a convicted murderer after killing two people during a botched robbery. Gerald was executed by the state of Texas in 2001, but not before he chowed down on Jolly Ranchers. I guess it really doesn't matter how much sugar he has because what is he gonna do? Go to the dentist, take care of himself? What's at number four? We have another style buffet request. And this list is long, but let me just name a few of them for you guys. Well, Lawrence Russell Brewer requested two chicken fried steaks, triple bacon cheeseburger cheese omelet, a large brown of fried okra, three fajitas, and uh, that's just to name a few. This list literally goes on like 10 more items. How does one person eat so much in just one meal? Unless he was allowed to like, you know, get a few friends in with him and just throw a big buffet party. But all jokes aside, he was executed September 21st, 2011 for the murder of James Bird. From literally a big list to now just uh, one item, we're talking about one cup of coffee. It's not even food. Eileen just wanted caffeine to get through the day and she drinks up into number three. Eileen was the first female on this list and just one coffee seems really odd. I might have her take a psychiatric test because I mean, you're, you can have any food. She was sentenced to death in Florida. She was a prostitute who killed seven men. I mean, talk about fatal attraction. I guess she really knows how to take advantage of men, but not food. Okay, so now at number, we have Robert Boole, and he asked for a single unpitted olive. Is this real life right now? Robert is the oldest inmate on this list, being 62 years old. He was given 121 years in prison plus death. This is after he killed 11 year old Krista Harrison, and this happened back in 1982. And he also killed two other young girls. He died by lethal injection in 2002. Finally, in at the number one spot for the most outrageous last meal request by an inmate who's on death row, we have a lump of dirt. 
James Edward Smith is the guy who wanted this for his last ever meal. I would investigate this to find out if he's like trying to dig a hole or something to escape because who orders dirt? And I wonder if he actually received it. James was convicted of murder after fatally shooting Larry D. Ruffus during a robbery made at a cashier's office. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 most outrageous last meal requests from people on death row. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. So let me know what you guys thought of this video and should I do a part two of it because I was going through this list and there's just so many odd and strange last meal requests. I know you guys are all good people and you guys would never be in the situation, but if you were on death row and had a last meal request, what would you guys want? And also, what is your favorite food? Don't forget to answer all those questions in the comment section below. That's it for me. Bye.